Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. The subject of my blog today is, should she meet you at the airport? The advantages of having a tour guide in the Philippines. But before I get started, let me welcome my viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for your kindness, your generosity, and your support of my channel. It's truly been amazing. I'll never take that for granted. You know, there's something reassuring about having a, seeing a familiar face, rather, waiting for you when you arrive in a foreign land, especially when the face is smiling and happy to see you. You know, it makes all the sense in the world to some of us. We've never been here before. We don't know where we're going. And it's an advantage. You know, it's a plus, you know, knowing that somebody's going to literally hold our hand and has our back 8,000 miles from home. There's also some disadvantages, but we're not going to talk about that today. That's for another video because I give you the 360. So this vlog is going to talk about the advantages of having her waiting for you when you get here. The first thing is real simple. This is what you came for. She's here in the flesh. There's no more waiting. It's time to get it on, man. Your ship has literally come in. Or her ship is coming in, either way you want to look at it. And once you get back to that hotel, you know you got it coming. Any way you want it, however you want it, wherever you want it. Doesn't matter if she's a butcher, baker, candlestick maker. You're going to get it. It's written in the script, man. And she's going to help you recover and get that 1,000-pound gorilla off your back, that jet lag. This is going to be your welcome to the Philippines moment. No more fantasy, man. It's reality now. That's the number one thing about, the, the best thing in my advantage, in, in my opinion, I'm sorry. The number one advantage of having her meet you at that airport. This is what you came for. Number two, and these are, these, the rest of these aren't in any particular order, but that first one was, she's going to be your interpreter. You're going to need that the minute you leave the terminal. Because a lot of these tri uh, tricycle drivers, jeepney drivers, taxi drivers, they're not proficient in English. And you don't know their language either. She's going to be the translator. She knows the native language and your language. It's very important. It's going to save you a lot of trouble, a lot of headache. She's the interpreter, man. She's the translator. That's very, very important. Unless you're fluent in Tagalog, Basayan, Belongo, you're going to be in trouble getting in that taxi cab. So, yeah, that's an advantage, a distinct advantage. The next advantage to having her meet you at the airport She's going to be your advisor. You're literally going to have an encyclopedia on the, on the Philippines sitting right next to you. Ask her everything you want to ask about the country, about the city, the province, wherever you're going. She's better than Google. But here she is, an advisor. So use her, man, as a teacher. She's going to educate you. Even as a fortune teller, she knows everything about where you are. Who knows better? Who better to ask? So she can be your advisor. And you're going to need it, man. Use it. It's a resource. And it's free. Basically free. The next thing is she's going to be your babysitter. She's going to watch you. Make sure you don't hurt yourself. She's going to feed you, bathe you, put you to bed. But she's going to make sure that you don't find trouble and trouble don't find you. Just like a babysitter. She's going to hold your hand. She's going to literally carry you around. She's a babysitter, man. This is an advantage. This is a plus to having this lady meet you at the airport. 
And finally, the last thing is she's going to be that tour guide, that all-in-one package. It's going to show you the lay of the land. Don't go here. Don't go there. This is the best place to go. Anywhere you want to go, she should know what neighborhoods to go into, what neighborhoods to avoid. Where can I get me a nice pair of Nikes? Where can I get me a nice meal? Where can I buy some souvenirs? The grocery store. She should tour again. She knows where everything is. This is your first time here. You don't know the place. You don't know where you're going. She's going to make sure you don't get lost. Man, listen. I could go on and on. There's so many advantages to having her waiting for you at that airport. And a lot of times I talk about it, uh, the other side too, the disadvantages. But this one's about the advantages. I've had someone meet me at the airport three times. And each time it was just exciting as the last. There's nothing like coming here and seeing that familiar face. Smile and she's happy to see you. Your welcome to Philippine moment is coming, man. Just a, It's just a taxi ride away. It's written in the script. She's going to help you, reassure you, comfort you, and say, hey, you're, going to, you're in a good place. I got your back. So thank you so much for stopping by. This is just a short video that I wanted to make because a lot of people are arriving, man. I got that your ship has come in. I was talking to Mo the other day, and his uh, girlfriend was coming in on a ship. And he wasn't for sure if she was going to come or not. And I said, well, if she comes, you know you got a keeper. Because if a woman would travel to meet you here, that's a good sign. Remember Merlin? I met Merlin in Dumaguete. She lives in San Carlos City. That's about a five-hour ride on a bus. Yeah, that's a good sign, guys. And then when... When she came, I said, well, send me a picture, man. She's beautiful. And I said, yeah, your ship came in, man. Nice ship, by the way. But she's going to be an advisor, man. She's better than Google. She's literally an encyclopedia on the Philippines sitting right next to you. If you don't use it, that's on you, man. That's on you. But there's some distinct advantages to having her waiting for you. And then there's some distinct advantages, and I'll get to that on another video at another time. But this is a good time, man. I don't want to put a damper on anybody's trip. But, yeah, I've seen it, man, from my own eyes, man. It's nothing like it. And when you have that beautiful someone that, you know, it's got your back. Going to make sure nothing happens to you over here 8,000 miles from home. So, in America, thank you so much for stopping by today. It's very early, man. I went to bed early, and I got up early. It's only about, it's, it's just about 3.30 a.m. here. I don't know what time I'm going to upload the video. I'll probably just go ahead and upload it. But I, I woke up about 2 o'clock, and I had this on my mind. This is a subject that needs to be talked about a lot, too. Because most guys, they will meet somebody and have them come to the airport. But a lot of guys are opting out of that. And I just want to let you know there's some advantages to it. That you may want to take a second look at that. Because on a, on a future video, I'm going to talk about the disadvantages and why some guys are opting out. If you're in America, it's getting late. And before you let your head hit that pillow tonight, hope you find somebody to help, to intentionally help. But if you don't want them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, you're just getting off second shift, or you're on your lunch break and you see somebody out in the street, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a few dollars. In the Philippines, I told you, man, it's early. It's about 3.30, 3.35 a.m. in the morning. We've got the whole rest of the day to find somebody to intentionally help. It's not a day goes by that I don't help somebody over here. We had our 
Electronic Community Pantry drawing yesterday. We do that every Wednesday here. And we give away about, it used to be 1,100 pesos worth of groceries from Save More. Now it's 1,200, man. Food has went up over here. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay COVID free. I'll see you next time. Be on the lookout for my uh, update on the building of the guest house, man. It's coming along, man. You're really going to like that. I've got my live stream later on today. Uh, look for it. Take care, everybody.